Hi guys, I'm at the boot of Prusa Research and we yep. are at the automated farm. Yep, what can true. you tell me about the automated farm? Automatic system uh, with the inside uh, jobs, QR codes, selecting material, printing, uh, with the nice showcase uh, we have. Uh, this is a finished prototype we have here on this year. That's uh, as close as possible as a finished product will be. In this device we have the two shelf parts, nine printers and one manipulation device for it. The whole device is operated by the Connect. That's our spe specialized software for it. And uh, how do I say that? Uh, it's fully automated. Fully you, automated. You only send the G codes in, system decide when and where uh, we uh, will be printing. And the machine put the steel sheets in and finished prints will be on the shelves for your use. Great. So this is going to be one of the most compact print farms available yeah. at the time. That's true. Yeah. And uh, as you uh, mentioned that there were multiple uh, extruders. Uh, no, we only have uh, first, uh, only one extruder yet. Well, per column we have an extruder, right? Yeah, that's yeah. true. And so this is going to be very easy to say we are going to put some filament in this one, like ABS. Yeah. We are going to put PLA in that one. Yeah. So any, you, any materials you have available, you may you may use uh, every brand you want, not only the brush house itself. Yeah. All right. The speeds that we are seeing now, is this going to be close to the final speed or is this just a demonstration speed we are seeing? Uh, this is a demonstration speed. The, the finish speed is uh, three times faster. So the taking out of the build plate and putting a new one in is yeah. going to be three uh, times as fast. For, for the showcase, we need to slow it a little bit, uh, yeah. around three minutes uh, for the cleaning cycle. Uh, in, the, in the finish uh, product will be around 45 seconds, I think. Which is but quite still, fast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but still, uh, the manipulator will be uh, managing and uh, checking all the prints on all the prints all the time. Is this uh, taking some IDs inspired from the Prusa XL? Uh, <laughs> the electronics are from the Prusa XL. The extrusion unit is from the MK4. MK4. So you are using the heat beds of the XL? Yeah. As I've seen it correctly. Small, small version. Yeah, that's true. And uh, can you tell me more about the uh, build plates, the, the heated section, how it works? Uh, about the software, you need to ask my colleagues on the other side. Ah, great. We have the glasses. I will ask him now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we are now with the man behind the brains, no? Yes. Yes. Uh, tell me what part, you do. Part of it, at least. Part of it. Uh, so I do the systems architecture for the farm, as well as some electronics and wiring and the safety system. Can you tell me more about the heated system and especially with the build plates? Okay, so we are using the same heat bed, heat technology we have on the Prusa XL, just slightly smaller. So on the XL, it's uh, four by four tiles. Here it's uh, only three by three, but the rest is identical. So it's all controlled the same way. So individually controlled, individually heated uh, segments. We can turn some of them off if we don't need them. And we are regulating the temperature of each of them uh, individually so that means the temperature is more uniform over the entire heat bed which is also going to be a huge power saving if you have a big farm yes yes exactly. and uh, how much do you think generally speaking that the uh, saving will be using uh, separately heated tiles okay so about two-thirds maybe half of the power of the printer generally goes to heating once it's yeah. all heated up uh, so this could maybe save you like third to half of the heating power. Which is so maybe really nice. 20 to 30 percent, I, I would estimate. Yeah. Of, of course, depends on the size of your print, because yeah. if you are printing over the entire heat bed, it's going to Yeah, then it's going to use all the tiles. Yes, yes. Yeah. What can you tell me about the extruder system on us? So it's using the same extruder system as Mark IV and uh, Excel. So that's our next generation extruder. Yeah. Uh, the advantage is it has a quite big pushing wheel. So normally, if you remember from maybe from the Mark III, the uh, tiny uh, extruder, extruder wheels, mm -hmm. it was like when you might maybe maybe one centimeter in diameter. So it only had like one to two, three maybe teeth engaged at a time. Yeah. But here the wheel is, uh, I think, three and a half centimeters. So you came and recently came out with the new extruder system, giving yes. more contact to the filament. Yes, and with the big wheel, and there are like two uh, ba roller bearings pushing on the filament from the other side, so it has 20 to 30 teeth engaged at a time, so it has much greater pushing force than any other... And more controlled, uh, probably. Ex ...extruders. And I haven't seen it grind filament, ever. Which is... If it, if it gets clogged, it, get, it, it gets clogged and then the motor skips. Even no with the TPU it. and all it those filaments? It doesn't grind through the filament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Okay.
Uh, thank you so much for this interview. This piece of content was provided by myself, so if you want to support the channel, you can do that in two ways. The first way is by subscribing to the channel, and the second way is giving me a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed the next content piece on Forum Next, and I see you in the next one.